Hi, Rohoa. I mentioned I would help you with <clears throat> getting your things to work. So here's a video of me trying to do it. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Okay, so I take this code out. Then I have this should be how you had it and it worked, right? Now I go to settings. Interpreter. Come on, there we go. See the one, this, this is the package you want. Gutenberg with a capital G and an E in it not the lowercase g and the u in it. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm setting up i as one, so I'm going to put i in here. I checked the 26,000 uh, book and it indeed exists. So <clears throat> we're going to keep going from there. If I go to 27,000, and run it. It also works. 28,000. No, that works too. Twenty nine thousand works. 30,990 still works. <clears throat> I thought there were 25,000 in this book, in this series. Let's try 45,090. I'm just trying to find the upper limit. I still haven't found it. Let's try 55,000. There we go. Value error. Okay, so somewhere around 55,000. I could go down to 52,000. Seems like it still works. 54,000. <coughs> still works. 54,900. Doesn't work. Okay. Does this seem like a waste of time or I'm just blindly trying things? Yeah, probably. So somewhere around 54,200 maybe. Okay. <clears throat> well, somewhere in here, it falls apart. I wouldn't recommend this strategy, but 96. Oh, that might be it. 54, 94, 95, and then you've got this 96 and it stops working. Okay. So, I equals one, nothing equals zero, while I is less than 54,096. Get rid of the comment. And then I want to use the try because if it raises an error, I want to know what the error is. I don't want it to crash my program. 
Oh, and we'll probably need something to hold these in, right? Um, all the books equals the bracket. So now we have a list. <clears throat> okay. Try. And then I want to try this. And then again, here, just like we talked about, I want to take out the number and put I in there. So it's going to start with one. Then I want to do if. So then I want. <coughs> So these are all the examples of previous ones. And somewhere back here, we've got one. Uh, not that one. Come on. There we go. <clears throat> so it says Moby Dick is 292 characters long. I checked and this is all it is. So basically it's uh there's nothing here. So I want to grab I want to filter these out. And the best way to do it is to just do the Moby Dick is blank characters long. So I want this. So then I come up here and I want to do the length equals this. And I don't need the string part. I just want the length of the text. So if the text is 292 characters long, I know I'm barking up the wrong tree. There's nothing here. So then if text uh, let's do if length the text is greater than 292 And I don't want the whale count. So we'll want to split it into a list. I could do that later. So let's just do if length of text is 290, greater than 292, then all the books dot append. So I'm going to add it to the list. Then I'm going to add it as a list. Okay, so the first thing is going to be the text. And the second thing is going to be uh, I'm going to say the reading level, but we can do that later. So maybe I'll just do the text. And then I don't need to put it in its own list. Oops. But it will make it easier later. Still won't. Okay. So if it's a legit book, which we think any book with more than 292 characters is, put it in all the books list. Okay. Else, otherwise, don't do anything. So let's do else nothing 
nothing here equals nothing plus one. So this increments nothing. <clears throat> so then we could go here and we could do, so now we know all the books that are gonna give us nothing. Uh, now we have to go to the try and then we have to do except, <clears throat> excuse me. So this means if it raises an exception and we had some exceptions out here, right? Here we go, except value error. So accept value error. Plus one. Okay, so now we'll have a, a counting of how many times we get a value error. And then we probably, <coughs> excuse me, Except this is any other exception, and we'll call this other error. Okay. Now what? So this should put them all into the list and it should keep track. <clears throat> so if we wanted to, we could have a running tally. So when we ran it, we would see down here, uh, things getting printed. It's gonna end up being a lot of things printed, but when you're running something for this long or on this many things, it might be nice to see a little action. So uh, <clears throat> let's do print uh, one more book in the list book number And then if we just do a comma, should be able to just print I. Might give us an error, we have to turn this into a string, but I think it'll work. Okay, then let's go here and here and do print. Nothing here at number I. <clears throat> so this is gonna, we're gonna have like 55,000, 54,000 messages running, but we'll just see how it works. Um, value error at book number I, and then here, print other error at book number I. <clears throat> okay, so we don't need any of this. I'm just gonna comment it all out. Going on here. Oh, not control. That's the problem.
Okay. <clears throat> and then at the end of here, we might do print. Come on. And then we might do print. Total. Length. All the books. Okay. Maybe up here we want book number blank, comma. Book total is and then all the oops. All the books. Okay, so let's see if this works. What? Invalid syntax error, line 16. Else. Uh, I think I need a close parenthesis here. That one's good and that one's good. Okay, now let's try it. Okay, nothing at number one. Oh, what's the problem? It was just going to go forever at number one because we didn't increment I. So <clears throat> try it there. Otherwise, do this. So then, do we just need one? Maybe. Right here, we can just put i equals i plus one. Now, we might need to put it embedded in each of these. I'm not sure, but let's try it just doing one where we're incrementing. Okay. There we go. Oh, value errors. <clears throat> okay, one book. So it's not very fast because we're grabbing every single book in the Gutenberg project. And you notice whenever we get to something where we don't have a value, it's just skipping. Well, it's telling us, oh, there was a value error there. Otherwise, it would have crashed our, our program. So try is pretty powerful. This is going to continue <clears throat> for an hour. And so I'm going to stop it uh, or I'm going to stop the recording. This should be enough to get you going. So good luck. Let me know how it goes.